सी के बस के सीरियसली यस सीरियसली आई एम डेड सीरियस दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट सिटी कम्यूटर्स वीव गॉट टूडे इन द मार्केट यू आर गिविंग दिस मोटरसाइकिल दैट सर्टिफिकेट आई डोंट नो हु वैल्यूज माई सर्टिफिकेट बट एटलीस्ट फॉर मी यस certificate of excellence in commuting <laughs> yes awarded by team big bear customs customs <laughs> okay now you need to justify why you are giving it that certificate yes i hope you do a good job of that <laughs> otherwise the certificate shall be withdrawn <laughs> sure sure <laughs> we'll start <laughs> generally as a commuter mm-hmm. if i am going to buy a motorcycle for commuting i would likely look at broadly five uh, parameters rideability flexibility in terms of dynamics yes. fuel consumption the acceleration throttle in response in terms of the throttle response yes braking braking affordability affordability how would you rate this on these five so the nimbleness uh, baski In my day-to-day commute, I, as I said earlier, I do around 30 kilometers in a day, one way to reach office. Wow! And for me, a lot of it boils down to the nimbleness. I don't want to be carrying sore shoulders to my work. I need to be fresh, right? And this motorcycle dances to your tunes. Wow! Imagine that you need to cut across. All that you need to do is sway a little bit. That's it. You don't need no wrestling do, match. No wrestling match. <laughs> you're not going to fight with the steering. All that you need to do is a slight movement of your shoulders, your upper torso. That that actually surprised me because it's on a different level altogether. The weight is much lower in this. It doesn't make you feel the bike motorcycle is that heavy. Actually, it's 180. It doesn't don't you, feel 180. You don't feel it. And as you recollect, I have my Expulse, which is my trusted go-to yeah. motorcycle for city commute. You've been using it for two and a half, two and a half years. years. You've been yeah. commuting on the Expulse. Yes. So you are comparing it to the commuting ability of the Expulse and not to other Royal Enfields. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. That's exactly. what we want. We don't because when you compare to Royal Enfield, then the whole thing changes. Today hmm. we are talking as a commuter. Yes. And comparing it with other commuters in the mid in segment. In the mid segment, exactly. So exactly. Expulse to this. Yes. So I find the handling in this a little bit better. Wow! You sit a bit lower compared to the Expulse, which is a bit higher. Yeah. Both has its pros and cons. You sit higher, you will be more imaginative in cutting across the traffic. You sit lower, it gives you more uh, grip with the motorcycle, so you can maneuver it quickly. So since you have so much experience with the Expulse, and we are riding, ridden this for uh, two weeks now, benchmarking it as pure as commuter. Yes when it comes to handling where is the expulse where is the hunter this feels a lot more tighter expulse is a bit it sags a bit you feel the front wheel is a little bit heavy because it's got this massive 21 inch compared to the 17 inch that this has so it plays a big big role so this is more res- it responds immediately to your input yes, than the expulse than the expulse, expulse there's a fraction of uh, the, delay yeah. yeah because of the suspension and the wheels yes, and all that yes this is instinctively it, it moves exactly it moves in instinct it seems to it's know what you want what to do. you want to do ah yeah <laughs> you you stole the words out of my mouth it anticipates it anticipates the rider wants good me yeah. to flick left and i go <laughs> yeah e- exactly very very nimble in that way in the traffic 60 70 yeah all that you need to do is you don't need to you know brake and then move around that is something to say about this right if yeah especially if, if you consider the badge royal enfield yeah if you feel and if it is nimbler yeah more responsive than a motorcycle that weighs 30 kilos less lesser wow true royal enfield has nailed it then <laughs> I, i i never felt its weight uh, boski to be honest wow i never felt its weight in all my two weeks of commuting that's like roughly 600 kilometers i never felt it heavier even when i park the motorcycle and if i want to take it out or things are on that bit i never could so feel the so what's weight. on paper as far as the weight is concerned doesn't matter it's, it's how all, it feels yes it's all bs if you were to ask me if you go looking purely by the spec specs sheet. on paper yes handling you are giving it a big resounding thumbs up yeah i, I would say 11 out of 10 if given an opportunity because it's that neat 
I mean, like, people might laugh at this, but they need to experience it. Ride it to believe it. Ride it to believe it. So the next point, throttle response. Wow. That's, that's a charm on this motorcycle, Baske. Mm. Seriously, yes. You, you don't need to clinch your wrist. I know. Uh, you know, uh, I used to ride an RD before and the catch line there was drop a gear and disappear. This thing... Don't need to drop a gear. <laughs> <laughs> in the CD commute. Just roll it yeah, open. exactly. You just roll the throttle a little bit and the thing flies. Instant torque availability right through the lower end and mid range. Yes, it's on demand. The torque's on demand. Torque you ask for demand. it, it gives you that. And, and the best thing that I liked in this motorcycle is like, come on, in a city commute, and it also depends on your frame of mind, certain things where you would want to just chug along. Yeah. Right? You just want to chug it's along. It's not always that I want it's to not always, yeah, yeah, not always on the boil. Yeah. Right? So you, you would want to chug along. Yeah. And this motorcycle, in the fourth gear, I can drop speeds to as low as 20, 25. There's a road hump. Okay, if it's a level road, I can clear the road hump in the fourth gear without it missing a beat. It just pulls along. Sec third gear, it's even more, it makes you feel in the zone, right? Your, your mindset is not completely sorted out whether you'd want to cruise or whether you'd want to attack the traffic or, you know, cut through the traffic. Third gear is even ideal. All that you need to do is like, ring the throttle a bit open and you're in the wrong side of 60, in a matter of time. So it is not asking you to shift to fourth. Nah. It's got that wide yes. operating band in third. So third would be a gear you would use most in yes. the... Yes. It feels like a Honda Activa in the third gear, Baski. All the way around. Maybe if, if it can do 20 in fourth, it can do 15 in third. Yes. Yes. 20 in third and you open it up 50, 60 in no time. So 20 to 50, 20 to 50 yes. in one gear. In one gear. And it's like amazing roll on speeds. And in the third gear, it doesn't really matter whether it's slightly uphill or a downhill it's or got, a level it's road. Grunt. It's got the grunt, doesn't miss a beat, doesn't, you know, the engine doesn't shudder and turn itself off. It's like amazing. Less gear shifting on this than the X-Pulse. I am more busy on the X-Pulse than this. When it comes to clutch and gear. Yes, clutch and gear. I'm a bit more busy on the X-Pulse compared to this. Wow. So what would you rate the throttle response and the gearing? How would you rate it? I think it's perfectly sorted out for the city. Out of 10? I would probably give it 9 or 10. I'm undecided between 9 or 10. So let's go with 9. Sure. Royal Enfield nailed it in this cat category yeah. also. 11 on 10, 9 on Nine 10. 10. Yeah. On to the next category, braking. Braking is sweet. Braking is sweet. It's on the dot, very well balanced or very well calibrated. Brakes are responsive. Adequate. More they than are, adequate. They're more than adequate. They're more than adequate. So you need to be careful so that nobody rear ends you uh, because it's a bit sharp. And uh, yes, stops on the dime. No, 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 I'm not complaining on the motor braking at all. Like what I do on the X-Pulse. X-Pulse, yes, you need to plan a little bit more. You need to come down. You, do, you need to do some engine braking as well. This has got good engine braking also, right? Yeah, the minute you roll off the throttle, you feel that. Uh, you, feel, yeah. you feel it. It slows down. It slows down. I, I could never get an opportunity to do a emergency braking yeah, sort I guess of we thing. cannot look for an opportunity <laughs> for emergency braking. It just happens. It just happens, yeah. So, good for you that you didn't I have didn't, to do any yeah, emergency I, braking. I didn't have to do it, yeah. However, if you do come into the situation, you are confident I'm, this can yes. handle that kind yes. of a situation yeah. in traffic. Yeah, coupled with the engine braking and the brakes, I'm pretty sure you can reduce the braking distance big time. So, braking out of 10, what would you give it? I would again give it an 8 or a 9. Let's go with a conservative 8. If we have to moan, yeah, eight. <laughs> okay, then let's make it a nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, see, honestly, I think these were the three things for me that stood out, uh, Bosky. Yeah. While riding the X-Pulse and this back-to-back, -back, I think these are the three things which stood out. And, and yeah, you're, you're used to a certain uh, level or a certain benchmark with your X-Pulse, and then you get, hop onto this motorcycle. This exceeds it hands down and these features stand out in in, the, in your mind 
and you say like, yeah, wow, this is really good. And I wouldn't want to cringe on the ratings. I would say like, yeah, I'm happy with nine. I'm happy with nine, happy with 11. Fantastic. Let's talk about mileage. So as a commuter, you have used it extensively. Yeah. What are the mileage you are getting? I think mileage was in the region of 35 to 36 because I was not ringing the throttle open. You, you don't need to do that in the city bus key. And also I would like to take it with a pinch of salt because the vehicle's done only 3600 kilometers. I'm pretty sure once when the engine, you know, frees itself much more, once you cross around 10k or 12k, I'm pretty sure the mileage is going to increase a little bit, a tad. Maybe. Right, because be. that's been the behavior that I've noticed with all my motorcycles. Right. I think the sweet spot is like once you cross the 10 to 12k, you see the mileage numbers improving by an odd kilometer or two. And this one at 35, 36 was like really good for me. 35, 36 is what scooters also give these days. Yeah, to come to it, yes. Yeah, Honda Activas yeah. and stuff like that, they give so, you that much. Running it. Fuel cost is like running any other scooter, Yeah, but with a lot more fun. For an everyday economy perspective, 35 is a pretty decent Yeah, for number. Bangalore traffic, that's yes. the way it is. Yeah. 35 is uh, amazing. acceptable uh, uh, I, mileage I, without any complaints. And, and I go through the CBD. So, you know how the traffic is chock a block there and uh, majority of the time you spend in the first and second. 35 is pretty good. So, yeah. that would give it a... 7 on uh, 10, I would say. Yes, we all want more mileage, no but, doubt but, about it. But Baski, this is a 350cc. Yeah, that's why a 7. 180 kilos. Otherwise, 35, I would have given it a 5. <laughs> <laughs> you, you being aggressive now. Yes, the X-Pulse gives me 44, 45. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's a different ball game altogether. Okay, so 35, 36. Yeah, that for, for that fun, I think I can... decent for all the fun you get. Yeah, for the fun that I get. I was about to say that. Small price to pay. Yeah, small price to pay. Fantastic. Now, we come to the fifth. How would you rate the purchase price? Today, this is 2.11 lakhs. The fully low, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the top end version the, of it. The mid range or top end. Or, I, I think this, so is, sure. this is the fully but loaded. 2.1 lakhs is the cost of this motorcycle on road. Mm -hmm. The alloy wheel version, the tubeless version. Okay. It changes a few thousand because of the paint and all that. Yeah. It's, I mean, forget, forget I'll that, not yeah. get into that. So 2.1 lakhs on mm. road. Mm. How much is the X-Pulse today? Yeah, their, their latest one, it it came in with the revised uh, things. They've had, they've they had, had a few features, lot of I feature guess. additions. Yeah. And with that, the price goes up. I think it is 186, 186. And you pay a premium of 25K, you get this. So Okay, X-Pulse is only a reference. It is not a comparison. Yes, it's not a comparison. Simply because you use an X-Pulse, exactly. we are using that as a comparison. Yes. So, uh, as a reference point. True. So it is not a competition between the X-Pulse and the Hunter. <laughs> At 2.10, 2.12 mm. lakh, how much value do you see in what it delivers in the first four parameters we measured? So, out of 10, where would you put it and say, you got the handling the way it does? Yes. You got the acceleration the way it does. Yes. You got the braking the way it does. You got the mileage what it gives. Mm. So the price you pay to purchase this mm -hmm. against those four Four. first four parameters. Would you, you consider buying this motorcycle you actually, as a commuter? You actually, you know, sort of ring fenced me because when I look at the value, for me, it's the overall complete package, right? You you look at the paint finish, you look at the switches, you look at the fit and finish of the motorcycle. So that's all I would want to evaluate apart from yes, just yes, those yes. four. I didn't reference it, uh, but I'm glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> four things. You consider the overall package, I think at 2.1, it's definitely a motorcycle that if I had not had the X-Pulse, this would have been in my garage only for my office commute. The occasional highway commute, you know, Go to Kanakpur and eat the Kota Idli, for instance. Or go to Nandi Hills. Go to Nandi Hills. Take a photograph <laughs> of the cloudy morning. Yes. Th th this is a good motorcycle for that. And I think it's value for money in today's Royal Enfield stable. This motorcycle is, or it gives you the maximum value for money. A 350cc that does the same job on your classic, on your meteor. How much do they cost, Baski? Oh, much more. They are 50, 60,000 more than this. <laughs> They are so, in another stratosphere. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it appears to be a size small, but then in the city, it's not going to matter. Maybe so, that's what we want. 
Yeah. Out of I, 10, what would you rate it? I, I would call it a 7. Fantastic. It's pretty much nailed it. So you have 11 on 10. Yeah. Then you have a 9 on 10. Yeah. Then you have an 8 on 10. Yeah. And you have a 7 and a 7. Yes. Damn, this motorcycle is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It is, Bosky. And another aspect, we have talked about the five main aspects. One more would be the maintenance. But as far as I am concerned and my experience and information from mm. various uh, owners and sources, nothing special about uh, extra about maintaining mm -hmm. this. It's a pretty reasonably proven, reliable engine. Mm -hmm. Parts are not that expensive. Yeah. Only thing, engine oil, you will have uh, two liters of engine oil. Apart from one, maybe the smaller motorcycles have one liter of yeah. engine oil. Yeah. Service interval is 10,000 kilometers. 6,000 on the expulse. Yeah, this is for 10, an oil change. 10,000 on oil yeah, change. Yeah, it negates out on the long run. So, it's nothing extraordinary that uh, the mm. maintenance is going to cost. Yeah. Uh, today, things have kind of standardized brake pads, cables, maybe yeah. marginally more on this. Mm. This platform is proven. Yes. No concerns, no issues. In fact, I think this is a pleasant surprise for a Royal Enfield <laughs> platform. I, I think Royal Enfield have learned yeah. the art of making motorcycles. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Like I said in the previous couple of videos or more, whenever we speak about Royal Enfield, we talk about the UK Tech Center. Mm. I don't know what they are doing yes. there. They are doing a fantastic job. I think they are nailing it with yeah. each and every motorcycle and they are improvising on it. Yeah, it's not like they are stuck at better. interceptor level. See, eh? If I see the classic and the Meteor, I am not so fond of mm. those motorcycles. I would say they are okay, nice. This yeah. is quite different. Yes. This is not a, a typical Royal Enfield. True. That uh, slow, lumbering, <laughs> heavy piece of motorcycle. Yeah. This gives a different feeling. I ride it, I have fun, I enjoy. The one thing that I missed calling out. Oh, it sounds sweet, huh? The burbly exhaust. Yeah, it's one of the best With that sounding. occasional pop. Best sounding. Yeah, I think in, in the current uh, lineup, it's sweet. I think one of it's the best among the Royal exactly. Enfield. Exactly. Uh, Royal Enfield, again, going back to the UK tech mm -hmm. center and what they did, what they are doing in the UK, mm -hmm. they bought that company Harris Performance. Yes. Harris Performance is a chassis company. They okay. make motorcycle frames. Okay. They were famous in the 70s and 80s for making uh, MotoGP frames. Oh wow. There were teams that used to run Harris chassis. The private teams used to run Harris chassis. Hmm. Of course, like British automobile industry over the decades, it kind of declined. Yeah. And now being revived by Indian companies and Chinese companies. Yeah, T TVS has got the yeah, Norton. Norton and uh, Mahindra has got the BSA. Oh yeah, Mahindra has yeah. got the BSA. So it's, uh, could we call it reverse colonization? <laughs> Out. Too early. <laughs> Sorry if any Brits are watching this. <laughs> no. so, I love this motorcycle. If I am a commuter, mm -hmm. from what I know about this and from what you have shared, yeah. I will put in my 2.1 lakhs and pick up this. Uh, it, it's the same here. If I were to be in the market, yes. Royal Enfield mm. has nailed it. Spot on. One of the best commuters yes. in the market today. today. Yeah, no, no second thoughts on that. If someone is looking for a, a slightly premium mm. commuter, it's a no-brainer to go it's for a no the brainer, yeah. And CK, one more aspect. Doubles. Commuting doubles. Yeah. How is it commuting doubles? How did the handling uh, change, if at all? And uh, how did the throttle response change, if at all? How was the overall performance when it uh, came to doubles riding? Because as a commuter, maybe to work I would be by myself. Outside of that, in all likelihood, I'll have a pillion with me. Yeah. So, how was your uh, doubles experience? First and foremost, don't go by the looks of the seat. It is quite spacious easily accommodates to, unlike my X-Pulse. It looks small, but I don't know or I'm not sure where the magic space is coming from, but it can easily accommodate two up riding. Let's find out. Yeah. yeah. I have a backrest. Yes. I have enough room. Yes. So that uh, your bottom end doesn't touch my front end. <laughs> You know, so we are. <laughs> <laughs> we have done no compromises here. Yes. So I feel safe without touching <laughs> the rider. So, of course, if I am his partner, things would change. Yes. Fortunately, I am not. I don't know who is the fortunate one here. But I can sit without having to uh, 
be in physical contact with the rider true which is something we cannot say for many motorcycles no 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 not not in the x pulse even my wife my partner <laughs> she she is not comfortable sitting on the x pulse pillion. yes yeah. on the x pulse uh, and that was what actually caught me by surprise because the seat looks small the bike is a sh is one size small as what i said earlier but then you are comfortable two up riding is comfortable the dynamics you can feel it a bit offset by a good 5 to 10% of it because of the added weight yeah. uh, the acceleration yeah a little bit more you know a couple of degrees more you might have to open up braking a little bit more you know 50 meters prior you tend to do uh, braking for it not but a deal breaker it's not a deal breaker we are able to sit comfortably yes so visually it looks small mm. actual in reality it is much more comfortable I, I, I don't know as i said you know I, i'm repeating it for the third time i how or where is this magic space coming in yeah. from? <laughs> I think they, that's the design. That's the design they have done. It, visually, it is non-intimidating. Yes. It is compact. It is small. But in reality, it's quite the other side. It's got True. space. It's got comfort. Yeah. Hmm. True. Good. So, this takes care of all the aspects uh, yes. that are important for a commuter. Yes. Yes. Okay. I agree. All fine and dandy and rosy. Is there anything outside of that? One thing I still want to add to the fine and dandy list is the gear shifts. Makhan Marke. I think that's how I would want to call it out. The gear shifts are amazing. Now that's the list of good All the things. Ooh and the ah. Ooh and ah parts. What about yeah. the... <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Mm. So those, I think, first and foremost is the handlebar. It could have been a couple of inches wider. So this way. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I don't know if you call it because of my ADB... Uh, riding possibly, possibly. habit, but possibly. I, I, I would want to call it out saying yeah, a little bit improvisation on that You would stuff. like a slightly wider handlebar? Slightly wider okay. or slightly taller uh, handlebar. It will make it costlier by about 300 rupees <laughs> because the pipe is going to cost more. <laughs> you are talking in the beans counter now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are a lot of... Who? <laughs> Bean counters, they want to come up with a price. You go tell them that, uh, boss, the customers are wanting the handlebar to be one inch wider immediately. Sir, increase the price of the vehicle by 800 rupees. <laughs> Lousy. <laughs> Mirrors. <laughs> you know what? Uh, this is something Royal Enfield needs to give a lot of attention to. This overall design mm -hmm. is as old as the classic. This is the same design that came in the classic in 2009. Okay. Wow. They've been grinding this <laughs> for 13, 14 years. They've been grinding this. The, I think this now making this would cost them maybe 10 rupees. Because I thought you were going to say 10 paisa. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's amortized 100 times the machinery, the layout, the design, the stampings and everything. Nah, they the, should change this mirror. The, the mirrors, yeah. honestly, Come on. the mirrors are lousy. They don't do justice. So the mirrors are bad. Yeah, I, I understand. Looking at the design, I accept it. I don't need to <laughs> ask any more questions. It's a terrible mirror. Yes. Yeah. I, I, it's high time, you know. They, yeah, they do something about it. They do something about it. I think we can it. chuck this yeah. and put in some Suzuki or Yamaha or Honda yeah. mirrors, which cost 300 rupees for a pair. Yes. They work better than this. Yes. So we can do it ourselves. So that's your suggestion. I have put the V-Strom mirrors on the X-Pulse. I have put the V-Strom mirrors yeah, on my Himalayan. In inspiration from you. Yeah. yeah. It's like amazing. I'm like so used to that crystal thing and this damn thing vibrates. <laughs> I don't need a vibrator. Come on, Basuki. The thing is, this motorcycle is not YB. It doesn't have any intrusive vibrations. No. But these mirrors Make magnify. It. Yes. <laughs> so I think that's one. And Suspension. Rear suspension. Rear suspension. Possibly the design keeping in mind that the rider is going to do 50, 60 all day long. A design for a budget. <laughs> You're being harsh. Yeah, no, it's made for a budget. Handbar, it could handbar be. made for the budget. Mirror is a, that thing that doesn't cost much and the rear shock also made for a budget. I don't know. It's not a deal breaker though. Not a deal breaker. As I said, it's not a deal breaker. It's things that they should be working on. Fine. So, I would say... Okay, handlebar, maybe we can live with it, rear shock, mm. live with it. Mm. Throw this yeah, chuck and it. buy some uh, Honda or Yamaha or You can give it back to the, 
you can give it back to the dealer as a gift <laughs> when you take delivery and put on that so so those who are taking delivery of a hunter buy a pair of honda yamaha suzuki mirrors yes. at the time of delivery remove these fit that enjoy your ride it will cost you 340 rupees more only yes 340 rupees more exactly thank you ck thank you boski happy to hear let's catch up again another day another motorcycle another weekend yes for sure cheers cheers thank you i have to give it back on the monday evening so your bit had broken fair will be <laughs> over by monday evening yes adenti gatti pada going back to expulse <laughs>